Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. Warning, this episode is kinda gross, but still keep watching though, thank you. Earlier this year, a 64 meter long mass called a fatberg was found in the sewer of Sidmouth, England. While that's longer than the Leaning Tower of Pisa is tall, it pales in comparison to the largest fatberg ever discovered. That award goes to the Whitechapel fatberg found in 2017 in the sewers beneath London. It was 250 meters long, weighed 130 tons, and it took nine weeks to clear out. But England isn't the only country plagued by fatbergs. They have been found in sewer systems all over the world. So what exactly are these things? Well, fatbergs are a solid mass of waste found in sewers. They consist of things that have been flushed down the toilet or poured down the drain, like congealed fat, oil, and personal hygiene products. One major source that is reportedly wreaking havoc on sewers all over the United States and Australia are wet wipes. This is because wet wipes don't disintegrate the same way that toilet paper does. Other other common products are diapers and tampons. Fatbergs are in part caused when fatty deposits come into contact with calcium and form a metallic soap. When this soap meets non-biodegradable items in the sewers, they combine and form deposits on sewer walls. This eventually causes blockages that can lead to overflow, flooding, and water contamination, resulting in environmental and health risks. Not to mention how much they cost to fix. Tam's Water in the UK spent 1 million each month clearing blockages. Sydney Water spends 8 million each year, and New York City spent 18 million in just five years on wet wipe related issues. For fatberg prevention or mitigation, water service companies have been urging their customers to stop pouring fats and oils down the drain. Restaurants in particular lead to a lot of grease deposits. Since there's been a noted connection between fatbergs and food outlets, some water companies are encouraging or even requiring restaurants to use grease traps to prevent it from going down drains. And some cities are even fighting to prevent wet wipe companies from advertising their products as flushable. To deal with the accumulating waste, companies are finding ways to put fatbergs to good use. In the UK, Thames Water partnered with an energy company to convert the fats, oils, and greases found in fatbergs into clean oil, which can be made into biodiesel, a renewable, clean-burning fuel. So who knows, maybe in a few years we'll live in a world powered by fatbergs, but also maybe not. So don't flush anything you're not supposed to. Unless you're me and you're trying to flush yourself down the toilet because a toilet in my world is a portal to your world. It's complicated. The real-life noggin fans know what I'm talking about, though. If you're constantly using the internet like me, you should be wanting to get the best and most safe experience. Thanks to our friend of the channel and sponsor, ExpressVPN, you never have to worry about stolen passwords or stolen credit card information. I use ExpressVPN to encrypt all of my online activity and protect my sensitive info, especially when I'm in places with public Wi-Fi, like the Starblocks coffee shop. Why, you might ask? Well, because I like my privacy, and I'm not sure I want someone hacking into my world and changing everything around. You can get three extra months free with a 12-month subscription by clicking the first link in the description below. It's just less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want to help out the Life Noggin channel and boost your internet security, go to expressvpn.com slash lifenoggin. Take back your privacy today with ExpressVPN. Thanks, guys. So are there any questions you have for me that you want to answered? Let me know right now in the comment section below and your question could become a future video. Subscribe and like if you haven't already, and as always, my name is Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, don't forget to keep on thinking.